Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So this video is going to be shorter than usual. I wanted to work with the wet on wet technique and do a loose painting. I chose a very happy color combo because right now I'm in the midst of preparing all my year-end reports for the government and it's quite a boring task so I needed happy and uh, happy also means bright and bold colors and the summer is coming and this color combo reminds me of summer. So um, I will be listing all the supplies that I used in the description but just very briefly I'm using green gold, thalocyanine turquoise, um, transparent pyro orange as well as paints gray the blue that you saw in my dish um, I I used it a little bit but mixed in with paints gray okay so what does wet to wet means well um, it means what it says really you're adding wet paint to wet paint or wet paint to clear water there are many ways to achieve or there are many ways to practice wet to wet i'm only going to show you one um and this one i call this anything goes <laughs> meaning that you're not going to pay attention to the amount of water or wet uh, paint you're adding um it will some areas will dry faster than others which means that it will create a water mark uh and this is the look that I was going for. The reason why you get those watermarks is because when an area dries and you're adding wet paint around it, the paint will always walk towards the water. And as soon as it meets a dry spot, it stops there. And this is where you see a delimitation. So for that style of painting, that's what I was going for. I embraced it. I love it. Uh, it gives it that unplanned look and it creates so much texture i just absolutely love it and i had a blast doing that now my leaves are uh i don't know what they are <laughs> they're just my interpretation of a loose leaf um, please come up with your own if you want to recreate this, if you want to practice. The one thing though that I would caution you about is the choice of colors. Because I have orange and blue in my palette, I needed to be mindful of that because blue and orange, they, it creates brown when it's wet. So that was a no-no. That's why I paired it with green gold, which uh, unbeknownst to me played really nicely. And I was really happy about that. Um, I always, of course, like to add contrast. So paints gray is the color that I chose for that. And I think it really looks good with these colors. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as the technique goes. Um, like I said, as long as your paint is wet, you can keep adding um, more color. There's one thing too, that, and one other thing too, though, if I may add, um, and try not to over mix your colors because what that's going to do is you're going to end up with kind of like a homogenized color. Um, I really wanted to keep the colors distinct. So do a little mix of merging a couple of colors and then keeping the next one, maybe one color, that sort of thing. Um, of course, the splashes those were necessary I think they look great <laughs> I really really like this tiny painting and that was just enough for me to um, you know forget uh, numbers or number crunching and data entry <laughs> that nourished my artistic side and gave me the fix that I needed so uh, there's another thing that I wanted to play with and this is a suggestion from either one of you or one of my patrons of course, I forgot the name as usual, but thank you. Last video, I used white, a white color pencil to add details. And somebody said, why don't you use charcoal, white, white charcoal? And I didn't have white charcoal, but I had dry pastel uh, pencils. And of course, I had a white and it worked beautifully on dark colors. It is so much fun to do. So I decided to add dots inside um, three of the leaves and I love it.
I bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I wonder how many funny bits I can come up with when I add the gold. <laughs> My well is going to run dry eventually, but anyways, here's the gold, of course, and the gold also added so much, uh, such a punch to this color combo. I was really pleased. All in all, I think this painting is probably my favorite loose painting I've ever done. Yeah, I think it is. I, it's it's official. It's I've declared it. <laughs> I've declared it my favorite. Um, I went kind of cray cray with the gold, so I used my brush. Um, I I rinsed it and uh, dried it a little bit so I can remove some of the gold but the end result uh, was just so much fun and i hope i hope you're going to practice this just go wild practice with different colors um of course you know i chose bold and bright but it would also look great with neutral colors uh, muted colors soft colors um a fall theme would be awesome with this uh, although I do have orange in there this could be fallish but I don't know it just reminds me of summer oh, look at that shine <laughs> anyways that is it for this video uh, quick and dirty I want to say that's the dirty look <laughs> thanks so much for watching thank you also my awesome patrons for supporting my art over at patreon if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below I will wish you a wonderful, happy, healthy, and creative week, and I will see you soon.